Hi everyone, it's Galen. Today I have a cute bird card and it's going to use uh, multiple techniques all in one project. I have a card and matching envelope and the envelope has art on the front, back, and on the inside flap. And it has a, a liner that matches the card. So I'm using stamps by Unity Stamp Company. The first kit um, is Happy Places and it has the sweet birds and the flowers in it. But for the sentiment, I'm using the kit called Say It With Love. It's the January 2020 sentiment kit by Unity. And I'm pairing the two kits together. One for more of the images and the other one for the sentiment. And so I have a paper tray ink envelope liner. It's an A2 size. And I'm pairing that with one of my existing envelopes. And I'm going to add art to both of those. I'm going to add some stamping and coloring to it. I have my Creative Time More Stitch Edges uh, dies and XOXO Border dies that I'm going to use for accent pieces. For stamping, I have Simon Says Stamp Intense Black for alcohol markers for the, because of the Copic coloring. And I'm using multiple distress ink pads, distress oxide ink pads, and the mini misty for stamping, along with an acrylic block later on. So I go ahead and add some ink and create a little scene with the branches and the birds using the Simon Says Stamp ink pad and the mi mini misty. And I do this three times. I, I stamp it three times uh, each. And for the branches, I'm just multi-stamping those onto the envelope liner and uh, creating a little branchy scene on the inside. So um, on the outside of the envelope, I stamped two little birds on the front corner and the back flap. And I use uh, Ranger Archival ink in Cornflower Blue. And um, so I'm adding a tiny bit of stamping around the birds. I'm using a the colors listed here on the video and also on my blog of the Copic colors. Uh, very little, just uh, minimal blending really. I'm using a blue and more of a taupe color and a red for the flowers and green for the leaves and lighter green. Um, and so this, um, this is pretty on its own. Nothing else really is needed, but later on I'm going to use some uh, Distress Oxide ink to blend a background color and uh, create a background scene. And so uh, the this stamp, this little branch with flowers is, uh, you know, you can create multiple looks with it. It can be a standalone image like where the birds are sitting or, uh, you know, a mix to create a scene like in the uh, envelope liner. So before I add Distress ink for the background, I mask the edges with, I use washi tape, just make sure it's not too sticky. And I use assorted makeup brushes that I have um, purchased for the use of crafting only. And I have different sizes of that and they work just fine for me for ink blending. Other, um, you know, there's other brands of ink blending brushes um, out there and those are fine too. It's, it's just what whatever you happen to have on hand that works for you and these work for me. So, um, I am just adding circles over and over and over um, just until I get the hues that I want. I'm not going for a solid look because I want it to mimic a sky uh, with a little bit of white in there. So um, I'm adding some, um, the sky, I'm adding a little bit of a sunny look to it with spiced marmalade. And then I remove, gently remove the masking tape. Um, all of this is gonna be heat set just to make sure that it's dry and that it won't bleed through um, once everything is assembled. So for the liner, I um, add clear double-sided flat tape just a little bit to the back side of that and I put that inside the envelope, line it up properly, and then fasten it down. And then score the envelope just at the top to make sure it lays flat. So for the bird panel, I just added foam tape and also for the sentiment panel, a little piece of foam tape. That's gonna stick up a little bit and um, add some dimension to the card. And uh, there you go. I have art on the inside, the outside. Um, it's got a liner that matches and a, and a really sweet card. I hope you like this project. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to like and follow my Facebook page. 
and also to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.